Hello, today we're going to be working on linear modeling, so that's word problems with linear equations. Our first question, a company buys a fax machine for $2,700. If it is worth $100 at the end of five years, what was the machine worth after three years? So we want to find our points first. So we have, they bought a fax machine at $2,700. So when it was zero years old, it was worth 2700 so our independent variable, x, is time, and our dependent variable, y, is money, because how much it's worth depends on how old it is. Now, if it's worth 100 at the end of five years, so our new point, five years, $100, what will the machine be worth after, or what was the machine worth after three years? So when it's three years, how much will it be? So because we have two points, we can find our slope. And we know that slope is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So we just fill this in using our first two points. So we get 2700 minus 100 over 0 minus 5 which gives us 2,600 divided by negative 5, which is equal to negative 520. So that is our slope. Remember, m equals slope. So now we can write our equation. Because we have our y-intercept here, so remember that's our b. So we have y equals our slope m x plus b, which is 2,700 in this case. And then we need to find out when x is 3, what will y be? So y equals negative 520. x is 3 plus 2,700. So then we multiply y equals negative 1,560 plus 2,700. We simplify this, and we get 11,040. So our answer, when x is 3, y will be 1,140. That's our answer. And remember, it's in dollars because it is an amount. So what was the machine worth after three years? The machine was worth $1,140. Let's look at another example. If a business had sales of 50000 the second year of business and 100000 in sales the fifth year, how much will their sales be in the eighth year of business? So again, we're going to look at those points. So they had a sale of 50000 in the second year. So remember, the sales depends on the year. So we have second year was 50,000. And 100,000 the fifth year. So five years, they do 100,000. How much will their sales be in the eighth year of business? So in eight years, how much will they make? Again, we can find our slope. by using the first two points. So we do our y, 50,000 minus 100,000 divided by 2 minus 5, which is negative 50,000 divided by negative 3. Negatives cancel. So our slope is 50,000 divided by 3. Now, we don't have our y-intercept this time, so we're going to have to use point-slope form. So we say y minus, we'll use this first equation for the point. So y minus 50,000 equals our slope, 50,000 divided by 3, times x minus 2. Remember, we're using those point values. And we have to find out when 
x is 8, what will y be? So y minus 50,000 equals 50,000 over 3 times 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6, so y minus 50,000 equals 50,000 divided by 3. We're multiplying by 6. Now the 3 and the 6 can simplify or reduce. That becomes a 2. So y minus 50,000 equals 50,000 times 2, which is 100,000. And then we just have to add our 50,000. So we get y equals 150,000 dollars. Okay, and that is our answer for the eighth year of business. So what I'd like you to do is try one on your own. So a car was purchased for $18,000. After five years, it was worth 10500 When will it be worth nothing? So remember, you need to find your points first. So look at the information and get your two points. Then try to find out what you're trying to find. Are you looking for the x? Are you looking for the y? What information do you have? Find the equation to use. Okay, make sure you find your slope, then find the equation. And then you can solve for what you're looking for. Good luck.